Hello. <laughs> I am Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. I'm Chris, also co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. If you are brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto super easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for updates on all our keto chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on track, so thanks for joining us on our keto journey. Indeed. Well, hello everybody. We're Hi. back. Hi, we and are back. Better than ever. From the eclipse. Laura says, I had a good time amazing. viewing the eclipse here in Missouri. Oh yeah, for Missouri, that would have been amazing. Now you'll notice, maybe, I, yeah, I have a sunburn. sunburn. You have a, a little bit of a sunburn. I have a fat lip. The sunburn I am so grateful for because that means that we got enough sun on Monday. To see the sun. To see the sun. And you didn't bring your old man hat, but I brought I did a not hat, bring my old, so ma old man hat. So I did hat. not get sunburned like you did. Nope. Because so, I was wearing a hat. La -di -da -da. And we, just to get it out of the way, we mm -hmm. ended up with 45 seconds of totality. And that's it. That was all, and you can see the clouds. Your picture turned out better than mine. Mine picture didn't turn out at all. Yeah. So, anyway, a lot of fun. We, uh, it was totally worth it. I keep trying to tell people that if you think the total eclipse is like the partial eclipse, but a little bit better. No, it's not even close. It's not even close. Not even close. Even 99% is so much sun, mm -hmm. and then it goes away, and it's like, what? Anyway, it was so much fun. To, uh, we, we were in uh, Kerrville, Texas. Yeah, they had a cute eclipse festival, and yep. they had a stage, and sing singers. Everybody and was band, uh, booing when the clouds trucks. would go in front of it. They had two <laughs> different barbecue food trucks, which we didn't buy, but we it was food. awesome that yeah. uh, they were there. And they had all these little booths that had, like, you know, little selling things. A lady came around asking little people if they wanted uh, Chinese food. Do you want food. Chinese food? <laughs> it was pretty funny. No, Actually, thank I actually kind of you. Felt, felt kind of bad. We brought our own. Looks like Carrie is here, and Jen says it's been an interesting few days between the eclipse and the earthquake. Yes, indeed. Oh my gosh, yeah. Gina is here. How y'all doing on this terrific Tuesday? Tired. Oh, I am so tired. We're beat. I have been good all day, and we sat down to have dinner, and I'm like, man, it hit me that we got up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yep, we sure did. Texas time. <laughs> well, and the bed that we had in the room, in the house that we were the renting. The house was awesome. Yeah. The beds were not as awesome. Nope. The only reason I got any sleep on Sunday was because I took a, uh, a sleep aid mm -hmm. with sodium succinate, I think is what it's called. Anyway, something. Take a half pill of that. Patsy says, hello from Blackfoot, Idaho. Happy oh, to catch you live. Patsy. Awesome. Uh, Marianne is here. Hi, Marianne. Um, Carrie says, Chris, how can I get experience to do technical work? Uh, try to get an entry level job would be yep. my recommendation. Yep. Um, technical support positions are typically open yeah. all over the place. It would Try be where first. I would start. Jen says, I'm drinking my salty now. Yes, nice. I wish I was drinking salty now. Um, Michelle says, happy Tuesday evening. We brought Hi, quite Michelle. a bit of salty with How us to the eclipse. And everyone mm. but uh, Ruth was really happy to drink it. She's like, oh, I don't want electrolytes. I just want, I just want water. That was pretty funny. It's her way of rebelling. Yes. Angel is here from Ashland, Oregon. Hi, Angel. Slow Carb is here as well. So is Radical hi, Geek. Hi, hi, hi. Theresa says, thanks for encouraging the eclipse. I called in sick to work. Yes. It's it was, so... That was worth it. Cool, right? Yeah, so and cool. Radical Geek also got sunburned. Well, <laughs> so here's the thing. Where we yeah. were going, the official National Weather Service forecast for Monday at the time of the eclipse was... Um, Heavy thunderstorms. thunderstorms. Yeah, severe thunderstorms. Um, medium to moderate Ooh. hail. And potential tornadoes. Oh, yeah. We don't usually get those. <laughs> we do not usually get those. So, so we drove, like, it was like two hours. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I'm going to be in a weird car. We had to take two cars because they, we of course, fit. didn't have a van mm -hmm. that we could fit into. And well, the eight of us. Yeah, the eight of us. 
So we took two cars, and I'm like, I'm going to be in a weird car, and Chris is going to ditch me by accident, and I I'm going to get a, lost. I did an amazing job. You keeping, did an amazing yes. job. But, you know, it was just one of those, like, it's going to rain the whole time, and then we're yeah. going to get there, and it's going to be cloudy. It but rained it was on the way while we were driving back. Awesome. It was it awesome. It rained for, like, two seconds. It yeah. was like a Utah rain, like a little doo -doo -doo. Did it, did it. it was not a Texas rain. Yes. I turned on my windshield wipers, like, once. It was extremely grateful for how we blessed so, we were. We were so lucky. Uh, Gina says, that was ama that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Cynthia's here from Florida. Rick one is hey, here Cynthia. also. Exposing darkness says, hey, hello. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Joanne says, good evening all from Arizona. Hi, Joanne. And, oh, Carrie's going to be 52 on this Saturday. Right. We can sing a preemptive happy birthday let's to you. Here we it. go. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Carrie. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Our daughter comes home from Canada on your birthday, Carrie. Oh, the best day of my life. And I'm so excited Yvette to see her Beth is again. here. Says, sorry, my iPad. It, it did something funky. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chris Miller is here. Hi, Chris. Shauna says, hey, all. Uh, Patricia says, greetings from Massachusetts. Yeah. Today is my birthday. Here we go again. One, Hi. two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patricia. Happy birthday to you. That was a different key. Yeah, that was um, special. S. Rob says, new to chow. My post office is not prompt. Any other way to ship? Oh, I'm sorry. So we can ship it other methods. The yep. problem is the cost goes up significantly. Yep. So if you want to pay for it, we can ship it in a different yeah, way, of different, course. Different shipping options yep. are available on the website. Um, by default, if you order over $100, it's just free economy shipping, mm -hmm. which oh, will just be the, will just be the <laughs> cheapest way that we can ship it. Uh, the problem is Amazon has ruined shipping for everybody. Yeah. And everybody thinks shipping should be super fast and free. Well, the way to do that is you overcharge for the product and don't charge for shipping. That means everybody's getting charged for shipping, even people who are close. Right. So... Anyway, it's, it's just, a just yeah. It's and a the thing very is, we're so difficult used to it. Thing. I'm like, oh, I actually was thinking about getting medicine from Amazon today, so I didn't have to go to the store. Okay. That's how lazy I am. But I didn't. Okay. I got up and went to the store instead. Well, Warren like says up. hello from Minnesota, and Loretta Hi. is here as well. Hi, so Loretta. is Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Long Jackie. time no see. Hi. Um. Carrie wants to know how to get iron levels up. You've asked that before, and unfortunately, I don't have a solution for you, Carrie. I have my girls um, take beef liver pills. Beef liver would do it. You Liverwurst know. might. Oh, take some liver. I mean, eat it. Yeah, eat liverwurst. Sean says, I look back at my eclipse pics right from now. 2017. There you go. Yes. I see Nancy says, good evening, guys. Glad to see you both. And Gina says, I um, love the zesty orange and Hi, booyah Gina. berries. I know, Salty that's makes what me I've happy. been digging lately. I think my favorite is still orange. And okay. I do like the caramel and the chocolate, too. I mean, I like okay. them all, but I just kind of go through a phase where I just do one flavor for a long time. Well, Sabrina so says, fun. happy Tuesday from Indiana. It's finally looking like spring here. Tulips are popping all over the place. Yay! I don't know about that spring thing, because today we got home from Texas. Yeah, it we, was warm in Texas. We got out, we walked outside of the airport, and it was 38 degrees. And I was like, wow, <laughs> it feels cold. There's quite a it was in that chilly. breeze. Yep. We're standing out there waiting for the bus to take us to the parking garage, and I'm like, oh, I wish I would have brought my winter coat. I deliberately packed my jacket at the outside of my Yes. Um, oh, I have my jacket on, but just it was so I could put it enough. on. And Sam's like, I didn't think to bring a coat. I'm like, We're <laughs> still in, live in Utah. Eh. Jennifer Lucas is here. Hey. Uh, Donna says, Hey guys, so glad the weather let up to see the yes, eclipse. We're, so we're sure getting the storms right now. Yeah, and it was so crazy because mm -hmm. it was seriously like 45 seconds. Yeah. So it was wrapped. Uh, let's see. Jen says, Nice harmony. There you go. Storm Thank Chasing Gals says, Loved my box was uh, out of salted caramel as a big bag. Yes. Okay. Mary says, Please bring back butterscotch. This and pecan I know. sticky Doesn't bun are my absolute yummy? favorite of all time. I really like the pecan sticky bun too. I made some pecan sticky buns today. You did? Yeah, we had some in the. In the cupboard so i used it i did have a ninja creamy today that made me very happy i had one of the ninja creamies that you made it was a raspberry cheesecake mixed with chocolate core i also had the same 
Speaking of which, um, one of the a, a lady named Jen on mm -hmm. the Keto Chow Facebook support okay. group would like us to make more core flavors. So let's talk about that. Okay. For a well, bit. I can tell you what you always say. Okay. What do I always say? You always say, "We need to sell the stuff we've got now, uh -huh. and then we can decide if we want more flavors." But it's not selling as well as it could. So if you want it, buy what we've got. Yeah. Is that so what there's you say? there's two issues with making more flavors of core. Number one. The um, beef protein oh, right. isolate is not currently available. Um, it's out of stock. We should be getting some more later this year. Mm -hmm. But also, the core flavors just aren't selling well enough mm -hmm. to justify additional flavors. So we've but got that would be a good idea. It would, but we've got the chocolate, the strawberry, and the vanilla, uh, both in sweetened and unsweetened, but. They're on the bottom of the list of mm -hmm. uh, sales right now. Yep. So, uh, but just like with any of the other flavors, you can dress it up any way you'd like. You can. So you can put any flavor into the vanilla core, any, and then you can make it be whatever flavor you want. Yeah. Cool. And the vanilla. Uh, well, sorry. What I was going to say is the the beef soup base. Yes. Is the same thing as the unsweetened vanilla and unsweetened strawberry. Yes. Without the flavor. Yes. So like, you can use that. It, you do have to play with it to get it to yep. be flavored. But I did that for a while too when I was when I first started doing total carbs. I was mixing my own keto chow from the beef soup base so I could have less total carbs. Okay. Before we even came out with pecan sticky bun, I did that for months at a time, and I just had to play with it until I got it the way I liked it. So you can do that. Jen says, I made chocolate option. core and used all natural peanut butter as the oh, fat. It was so good. I made ice cream. That, that was actually amazing. one of the questions That's that idea, I was Jen. going to address tonight, but someone was asking, mm -hmm. can you use peanut butter as the fat? You yes. can use anything you want as the yes, fat. Yes, you can. Um, it's up to you. It's up to you. You can use a almond butter or something, too. Joanne says, when I get keto chow shipped through USPS, I always get it three to four days, so the regular postal service. When you, you're shipping people, use UPS. It takes anywhere from 5 oh, to 14 days. Yeah. Well, and you, post office has been having some problems lately. There's a couple of distribution sites, hubs. I think it's yeah. in Georgia. Yes. It's one of them. That stuff has been this going site. in and then, like, disappearing into a black hole. Yeah. And they're trying to fix trying that. Trying to figure but... out what's going on. They even had a news story on it. Oh, mm -hmm. who, was, who was talking? Okay, so, Joanne, I have... Uh, suggestion. Okay, so go into your order when you make an order and m make a note. Um, please keep this at USPS if that's what you want. It we to can be. try to do that. Yeah, because if it if it's going to be um, that's what you've selected, then well, then that'll work. Well, if it's economy shipping, it just goes the cheapest way okay. possible. So if it's we're paying the shipping. Yeah, if we're then paying the shipping, that will yeah. be different. But if it's mm -hmm. but if you're paying the shipping, it doesn't matter. It's well, whatever it will, you want it to yeah, be. Yeah, if you if you choose USPS, so like priority the, mail, that's what I'm saying. It will go that that's way. Important. Yeah, but if you type a note, they will try to do that. Yes. But it, I cannot guarantee that it will. Unless happen. you pay for it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Denise says, "Hey, everyone, so sleepy." <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I just. I just got tired like an hour ago. Julie's here from Southern Oregon. Juju hey, is here as well, and so is Gigi. Meg's little house in the country. Hey, Waiting Meg. for spring to come as well. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna go to our Say hi to week. Lisa. Lisa, hi. Donna says I oh yeah, you're going to Arches next week. That's yep. right. It's gonna be warmer down there. Donna says I have a need for chocolate malt and birthday cake. Yeah. GGB says we got um, 89% here just south of Washington, D.C. Yeah. We got to take 20, 20 of my tiniest friends outside to watch. Oh. No pressure. There you go. And Exposing Darkness says there's a long list of flavors we all want I back. I feel that. I also have the list, too. Uh, let's see. Storm Chasing Gals says orange cream was in my box. Yay, Yay! spring flavors. Uncle Big Guy is here. Hi, guy. How are you? Jen says, I will only buy core because I cannot tolerate sucralose. Okay. There you go. I'm glad we got something you like. Jackie's been hiding in the shadows, currently getting back on track. Back to life. Uh, focusing on paying off reality. debt and dipping my toe back into finding my back to my way back to faith. So busy, busy. You, there you are go. killing it, girl. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Good job. 
Uh, Jennifer says, I'll forgive you for no new flavors. If you bring back your butterscotch and birthday Okay, <laughs> how about tomorrow? Amy says, Keto Chow is the fastest in the West for shipping. Uh, my package of Keto Chow, uh, even on Easter Sunday. Really? That's interesting. Oh. So we were in San Antonio. We had a lot of fun at uh -huh. the San Antonio meet Yes, up. we went to this meetup. It was so awesome. We, yeah. we met up with Ken and Nisha and Alyssa and Terry, Terry. and... Lindy, Lindy from Compass Wellness. There yep. are and a good lot friends. of people showed up to say so hi. many good people, especially like so talking awesome. to Mary, aka Miriam. Oh yeah, who runs a synagogue? Yes, <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was awesome. Um, but the whole thing about San Antonio. Every yeah. time I saw San Antonio, I'd think, "Peace Picante Sauce is made by folks in San Antonio who know what Picante Sauce is supposed to taste like." I just remembered that just now. Where's this stuff made? New York City. Get a rope. New York City. I remember that. <laughs> now I'm going to be happy about San Antonio in a different way. Karen says, love to see you too. I'm setting into settling into oh, my new home. I'm nice. so happy. And Lynette's here. Lynette, Lynette I miss how your was face. your trip? Uh, let's see. Home? No, I doubt it. Home? I think I think Lynette is on the way home. Mm -hmm. Joanne says, thank you. I'll try that. I always order enough for free shipping. There you go. Nice. Storm Chasing Gal says, Miriam, go grab caffeine. You haven't been drinking caffeine for I quit caffeine. several months. Mm, when did I have? Not even caffeinated soda. I. It actually might be a year. I think the only caffeine I have is chocolate occasionally. Yep. Not a ton, though. Denise says, I really like the chocolate peanut butter with mm. banana for creamies. Ooh, there you that go. That sounds good. And Roz is here. Welcome, hey, Roz. Roz. Uh, Carrie wants a nutty squirrel keto chow. There you go. Janice says, I had 90% in Delaware with no clouds. Totally clear. Oh, yeah. By the way, I just have to keep saying it. Mm -hmm. If you can drive under three hours to see totally a total worth eclipse. It. If you can drive totally six good, hours so to see a total eclipse, it is worth the effort. The difference between 99% and totality is night and day. Literally. It's not like 50% is half as cool as totality. No, no. It's, it's not even on different. the scale. Anyway. It's really cool. <laughs> and every time someone is like, ah, you know, we had like... It was like 40%. Was it, was it was close enough. And I'm like, you're no. talking like a person who's never seen a total eclipse. Because yes. if you've seen a total eclipse, it's kind of like once you've seen the elephant, you can't unsee it. Once yeah, we got to go to Australia. Once you know about keto, you can't unsee it. True that. Um, anyway, I try, not to, I try not to go on and on about eclipses. <sighs> Sorry. Right now? Sorry. I still got to make a post about it. Uh, Jack T says, I went to work Monday, but they let us go outside for half an hour and gave Yay. us cosmic brownies and star crunch <laughs> for worth one dollar, little Debbie. Cute. Half the factory didn't show up, really. That's crazy. Oh my god. Well, Marie Campos is here. Oh, hey, Marie. Marie. Uh, let's see. Tracy says, Hi, Bears. So glad to see you Saturday. Tracy, you get a hug she's from a Miriam. Yeah. I know. I have been really sad I didn't get to talk to you more. I think we just need to hang out more it was, often. I got to talk to people more at that one than I have at a lot of the meetups yeah, previously. Yeah, really nice. And I just kept going from table to t table trying awesome. to talk to people. It was so awesome. But uh, Loretta says, today has been a favorite keto chow day. Made creamy pumpkin sausage soup for dinner. Oh, Ooh. yum. Oh, speaking of... And Buttery of... Fingers ice cream. Yummy. What? Butter Fingers ice cream is my favorite. Chocolate we... peanut butter plus chocolate top. We did not get a beef rib. I failed. No, we did not. But we got brisket... We got jalapeno cheddar sausage, and we got some pork ribs that were really good when we were in San Antonio, where people know how to make picante sauce. Jennifer says, our meetup with Joe and Rachel both open and closed, down smoking fatties. Aww. None of us wanted to leave. <laughs> That's awesome. Did, were they... Um... Were they upset or were they good? The I don't know. I'm sure they were fine with people buying more and more food. Right? Brenda says, I was skeptical, but it was amazing. There right? you go. Mike Brenda? is here. And Lynette says, it's worth driving 24 hours for a total eclipse. Yeah. Yes. It's so awesome. Jackie says, I walked outside for totality. I was in Indianapolis. That's yes. awesome. Uh, let's see. Cynthia says, 21 years from now, there's going to be one in Florida. Yes, there will. 2045. I know it. It's going to go through Utah, right on through right. to Florida. So we're going to go outside when I'm 65 and have my grandkids come over and uh, yep. get 
with those old eclipse glasses. Lynette points stuff. out that there's a 2026 eclipse in Spain. <gasps> Let's go, Lynette! There's also going to be one in like 2027 in Giza. I also will go to Giza. Like, on the pyramids. Let's start saving right now. The penumbra will go across the, the pyramids. What? Yeah. That would be a cool picture. It would. Like, it would be a nuts one, but no way am I going to fly there. Why not? Julie says, last fall cool. we had an annular eclipse here in Southern Oregon. It was cool. Yes, those were cool. So cool. Teresa says, the drive to totality was two hours, but the drive back was over five hours. Worth it. Yeah. Ours yes. was longer. Okay. This well, ours was like, it, well, it was an long. hour and 45 minutes for like four hours. It was, an, <laughs> it was so funny because we're like driving and then the thing is red saying an hour and 45 minutes. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to look at it for a while, so I'm yeah. not disappointed. I look down, it's like, and I want 43 minutes. I'm like, it's at least been 20 minutes since I looked at that. So Google Maps <laughs> just can't handle it can't eclipse handle traffic. It. it can't handle it. Was it was really funny. Laura says, I agree that if a full total eclipse, if, if possible, is a chance in a lifetime. Nothing yeah. compares. Yeah. And that's what happened here in Missouri on a clear, beautiful sunny day. Yes. It was so funny to me that, that you had that clear band there in the middle of the... Of the um, country, I've been I've been looking at oh, weather awesome. reports like crazy. I'm so, I'm so glad to be done with I'm it. I'm like like the last two Chris, weeks, all I was was looking at weather about, reports. Oh, the weather! What are you looking at? The, the weather. weather. Cloud Do you cover go on forecast. A date? The weather. Yep. Are you alive? The weather. Okay, Melissa says we drove dinner? five the and a weather. half hours to get into the totality path. It was worth every minute of the drive yeah. there. On the other hand, the return drive was more like eight right. hours. Right, that's the thing. And they all the signs on the on the billboards were like, "Come early, yep. stay, leave late." And of course, everybody starts leaving, and we're like, "Okay, we'll leave too." Yep. John says here in South that's Louisiana, fine. this the sky was a hundred percent covered in clouds. Yeah. Yeah. And my eclipse glasses and everything, but I didn't even see the sun all day. Oh yeah, that's what it was supposed to be for us. We just got really lucky. So. Um, one thing that I wanted to point out, mm -hmm. one of my friends posted this, and I thought that it was a joke. What, you have to say what it is. This is a Google Trends on Eyes Hurt. So it gives you, it tells you what people are searching for and what areas of the country they're <gasps> searching for. And look at that spike because everyone looked at the sun. And don't look at the sun. <laughs> it's really hard not to look at the sun, though. Yeah. I did a couple times. But the problem was, once you looked at the sun, then yeah. when you looked through the glasses, you couldn't see the sun. Yeah. Because it was shining yeah. from your eyeballs. Anyway, I just thought that that was absolutely hilarious. Somebody posted that, and I'm like, that can't be real. There's no way that's real. And it's yeah. totally real. But what was cool... Um, was because the cloud cover was covering it when it wasn't totality, when it was uh -huh. starting. And so it was like this little filter. So we did you we could, could actually look at, it look with at the our sun. Eyes. Yeah. Um, but then it was starting then the to get bright. You had to really quickly yeah. put your glasses on. <laughs> Jennifer says smoking fatties was very gracious. Oh, I'm so happy. That's that makes me so glad. Jackie says you should yell at Joe. They decide to stay up north in Indiana. I told we Joe. We already did. <laughs> I already told Joe. And he's like, it wasn't worth it. I'm like, ew. You're talking like someone who's never, never seen it. Seen it. Mm -hmm. Because if, if he had seen it, he wouldn't say that. Right. Okay. Miriam, here's a question. Can okay. you use keto chow even if you're not doing keto? <gasps> and how would you mix it for that application? You can do it if you want to. Because keto chow is just a good it's shake Lots of nutrients. That has a lot of extra electrolytes. It tastes minerals, amazing. Vitamins. Let's be honest. tasting. I think a lot of people that don't do keto mix it with milk. You could do, still do almond milk. You could. I still would recommend like a little bit of fat if, I would if they're not afraid. I wouldn't recommend that. milk. I'd recommend a little bit of heavy cream and a lot of water. Yeah, instead. it's just if they're not keto, do they have heavy cream around? Yeah, but there's no need for the sugar. Even if you're not I, doing keto, there's yeah, no I need know. for the sugar. Well, but. I'm not them. I'm just saying some people yeah. would do that. And I think that you could totally do that if that's you. And okay. That's fine. So along those same lines, how much fat should you add to keto chow? Okay, so what we're thinking is 10 grams. Of fat. A minimum of 10 grams, mm -hmm. but just in general. Now that's if you're not doing keto. But oh, okay. 
if you are doing keto, if you're just starting keto chow, right. how much fat should you add to you know keto what? chow? We already did this video. I know we did, there is a but yellow, some people might not have seen there's it. There's a yellow video, and we will put a link <laughs> in the bottom below. Okay. <laughs> what is it called? I recommend, in the description, <laughs> I recommend start with a half cup of heavy cream. Right, four ounces. Go up or down from there. There's a line on the side. Uh, I don't think that that video has been published yet. The oh. How to Mix Keto Chow. It hasn't been published what was yet. The, what was this week? Uh, about Salty. Oh, just kidding. The video about Salty got published week. this week. Yeah. Um, oh, I need to charge my phone. <laughs> anyway, so for, for mixing Keto Chow, if you don't know how much fat to use, start with four ounces of heavy cream. There is a line on the side of the blender bottles mm -hmm. that I Hard usually, I take a marker and I, mm -hmm. I draw on the line so I can see it easier. Right. Start with that. And if you feel like you need more calories or fewer calories, you can add more heavy cream or less heavy cream. Mm -hmm. um, it's really up to you to decide what, what calorie amount you, you wanna go for. If you do use a half a cup, the four ounces of heavy cream, the, the complete mix will be around 540 calories. Yeah. So there you go. Jen says, I saw an old video about how to mix keto chow. We answer this question quite a lot. Yeah, we have <laughs> a lot of videos about it. Yep. Jennifer says, I used Eclipse glasses from 2017. Now yes. I'm determined to use them for another Eclipse. Uh, I love it. Most Eclipse, glass, Eclipse glasses expire after 12 months. There's, yeah, they are supposed to. And it's that the plastic starts to break down. It'll degrade, down. yeah. So. But you know that if you look through them and you're like, ah, my eyes hurt, and then you can just not look through them. Um, but wouldn't that be cool? Jackie wants to know, do you use mousse for your wavy curls? Oh, I'm trying to find a new one to replace yeah. my almost empty. Okay, I have the coolest product that I really like. This is also Texas Curls. Okay. Because this is yesterday's. I showered. Yesterday's curls. Last night. Yes. And, um... When you have more water in the air, Humidity. you get better curls. In yeah. Utah, you don't get as good curls. But what do you normally but use? I uh, use LUV products. Love you are curls. Yeah, I love your curls. Um, and there's a... Which is bad grammar. Yeah, totally bad grammar. You it's are a, means there's you There's a gel. Are. It's like a weird... Not it's your. super weird. So there's, I use a curl cream and I use a gel from them. Let me get it for you so okay. you can see it. Laura says I had a half cup of almond milk and a tablespoon of butter that would work just fine uh, make sure you use melted butter and I would recommend using a blender if you're gonna do that but also I've been plopping my hair if you know what that is I've just been looking it up okay here's the curl cream love your curls it's just a, got a there's a lot the of curl there. creams that would work just as good um, this is the real magic this is a gel love your curls Irish sea moss gel. Irish sea moss. Yes. And it can get crunchy. You can't really tell it's a little bit crunchy, but not like crunchy like your Walmart brand gel crunchy. <laughs> uh, but it does have a lot of like movement to it. So okay. I really like this product. I've probably been through like three of these each. So. Well, Richard is eating snickerdoodle ice cream. Ooh, delicious. Which brings up another question. What is the okay. best ice cream maker to use with keto chow? Okay, well, this is the answer that we always give. The best ice cream maker is the one you already have. Yeah. Because then you don't have to go buy a new one. Yeah, if you've got an ice cream maker, try it. Try it. And if it doesn't work, you'll know. Now, um, I didn't get have good results with the one that you like put salt on the ice and you have it oh, in the container like the, uh, that like stirs. Oh, like the old-fashioned Yeah, the old-time ones, I did not have good results yeah it was but maybe you would do better who knows yeah. um try it out and we notice with like churning ice cream makers because it has the frozen bowl you tend to get like frozen ice on Around the, out the outside, outside yeah. on the inside outside and if you just stop and kind of chip that away and then go back and do it again it, it takes a little bit longer but it still will work fine also you can do the old like bag trick with the ice and salt yep. in the bag and then one thing that we've done like for years and years because we didn't have an ice cream maker is just take your blender bottle mix up like normal stick it in the freezer and then set a timer every 10 minutes go turn it or shake it for up for like 
40 minutes or so. And just get up then and you get steps, which is awesome. Okay. And then you get like this delicious slushy. Tracy said we had time. cloud cover in Austin, but it broke just in time yes. to see the total eclipse. And the darkness was so cold. Then I drove to Houston that evening and so oh, much traffic. Man. Oh, man. I'm sorry. One of our employees went to Austin, mm -hmm. and he's like, he got the full four like, minutes. Four minutes. Uh, lucky. Yeah. Denise wants to know, where do you get Love Your cool Curls? I just saw it ordered on, online. I think They're I saw Amazon? it first on um, Facebook. No, I go directly to the site. They have a oh, lot of products. Good. They actually have a a curl a con deep conditioner that I've been using that okay. I really like. Uh, but I don't use it all the time because it's a deep conditioner. But it does really help with the curls. So. Brenda says, I love the Diva Curl Pretty Ultra good. Defining Gel, but it's pricey. Oh, I think I actually ordered that fairly recently. I've been getting ads for that too. But I haven't tried it yet. Well, B-Dog just showed up, late as usual. Going to rewind. Nice. Uh, if you join late, one thing you can do mm -hmm. is uh, change your playback speed. And apparently I need a girl talk it's button. It's time now since, for computer talk. Mm, this is computer talk. Hair talk? Curl I, talk? I can... Plop, okay, but look up... What about this? Plopping your hair. Discourse. No, that is not the same thing. <laughs> How about I just... Well, where is the word? Where is the no? Oh, thank you. That was not what I wanted to say. <laughs> um, look up plopping your hair because it's like you take oh. your hair in when it's really wet and then you put some product in it while it's super really wet and then you put like an old t-shirt on it. You like put your hair down and then kind of go like this up into the thing and then put the towel or whatever onto your head. <laughs> was I even in frame? Yes. Well, mostly. <laughs> okay. And that works really well to get your like good curls and then you can just take it out and let it dry the rest of the way. Okay. So yeah, it, I've been doing that too. And Jennifer points out, yeah, you can even use the Ziploc bag method. b Dog says I make yeah. chocolate yeah. mint melt away. So there you go. <gasps> oh, those are so good. Uh, Debbie says I watched the total eclipse in Garland, Texas. Nice. I love the flavor of the cereal of keto chow. Nice. Yes. Oh, we need to try that cereal what? that Joe and Rachel made. Oh yeah, we do. S. Rep says I mixed melted butter into chow, solidified immediately. Yikes! Heavy cream is the way to go. If you yeah, do, yeah. if you use butter, you have to use warm water, yep. and you have to use melted butter. Yep. And it works best by far if you use a blender or an immersion blender. Yep. Sorry, that was that was like a secret trick you did there. Lisa says I'm in Austin. We had cloud cover right at totality. Aww. That was cool. Before and after. There you go. Yep. That's awesome. John is eating a caramel macchiato creamy right now. Storm chasing got a love science with Chris. There you go. Mm -hmm. Don says it was very cloudy at the beginning here in Killen, mm -hmm. also, and cleared in time for the totality, and we saw the full four. Wow. So solar flare. Nice. I mean, that's <gasps> really cool. Ooh, that's nice. A B Dog wants to know how to change the playback speed. So if you click on the little cog, and on there's the a play, somewhere? yeah, and if, there's a playback speed setting, and then you can uh, change the playback speed. I often yawn on live streams. Yeah. So Carver says chocolate meltaways. Yeah, the chocolate mint meltaways oh my is gosh. on the, the is website. One of the best. And if you just it, do, it is the best recipe that we have on the there website. We Let's see. Keto chocolate chow mint melt aways. Go Google go. Oh, it's so good. There it is. Chocolate mint meltaways. It's my favorite recipe of all time. Bum bum bum. Because it's just like a. a I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. Yep. So I mean, it's almost like cheese, a pudding, chocolate like mint, cream cheese, heavy cheesecake cream, you know, texture butter, with a, powder a chocolate on the outside that just literally melts in your hands. It's so good. I want them right now. So good. So oh, the good. video is mm -hmm. uh, broken. Broken. Hi, Look at me. Look at my hair salon. Your hair is long. Look how tall I am compared to Taffy. Yeah. Now everybody mm -hmm. can see the uh, the weird videos that I get uh, recommended. Yeah. We're, we're locking up on their YouTube. Stuff. Yep. Their YouTube. Their YouTube. Lance says we had four minutes and 11 seconds of totality. Amazing. There mm, you go. I'm so happy for you. So awesome. Uh, let's see. Storm Chasing Gal wants us to keep fruity cereal. The Now, since... Oh, we'll see here. Is it out of stock? No, it's not. Oh, good. Um, but we always... Always, always launch mm -hmm. flavors mm -hmm. in single meals only 
and as a limited edition. That yeah. is always how it has been for the last two years, and that is the way that it will be going forward for the yep. future. Yeah, We're not going to change that. And if it sells exceptionally well, we'll start the process pretty soon to bring mm -hmm. it back. Mm -hmm. If it sells okay, then we might think about it a little bit later. And if it doesn't sell very well, then we'll be like, eh, okay. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Which is what black licorice and regretted licorice were that like. Was fun. We're like, eh, that was fun. My watch is still on Texas time. Whereas the uh, like the blueberry pie, we worked to get that back almost immediately. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, we still like blueberry pie. Uh, Jackie says us laymen say gear, not co cog thingy. Yeah, a, a gear. There you go. Now he says we had near oh, perfect yeah. weather in Arkansas. Solar flares and Corona views were amazing. Oh, that's, awesome. that's so cool. I love that. Uh, let's see. Um, Carrie says we need keto chopped pistachio mouth waste. You can use that same recipe yeah, to totally. make any Just flavor. Just do any flavor you want. Um, let's see. Janice says my daughter drove to Syracuse and had no regrets. Oh, I'm so happy. Unless as they also saw solar flares in That's Arkansas. That's so cool. Did you get any pictures? Uh, Michelle says it just came in. Know. I've noticed some posting Michelle. with a surprise keto okay. chow box with orange cream. Any news about orange cream? We do not have any news to share at this wait, time. Wait, let me do. Let me do. Let me You're going to do it? It's there at the bottom. Oh, it? it says flavors. Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> um, let's see. Jennifer says, did you see that jets that flew the Eclipse totality? Um, I heard that uh, Delta was going to do it, but... Oh, slow carb misses the guava. I also miss the guava grapefruit and the orange mango. Dessert Desert Dwarf says, last time I came yeah, on, there was a discussion dwarf. about malt. I never found out why you were talking about malt. So oh, because someone was talking about chocolate we malt We introduced flavor. a um, chocolate malt flavor as a limited edition several months ago. Um, it sold out. And it is not yet available, and we have not made any announcements yes. about whether or when or if it's coming back. <laughs> so. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, okay. It, it won't let me do it again. It will. You just have to wait for that thing to go away. <laughs> okay, one last thing. Sandy said, with the outrageous <laughs> prices of food at the grocery mm -hmm. store, mm -hmm. the price of keto chow looks better and better, plus no yeah. shopping cooking and only one container to wash. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of nice not having to wash a ton of dishes. So just before we got on the live stream, yeah. um, I wanted to just like lay down and rest. But yeah. instead, yeah. I made uh, three, no, four. I made 12 keto chows um, so that we could have some for tomorrow. And I brushed my teeth. I made, uh, and I usually do them in the blender in a group of three. I'm going to go back and make some more <gasps> until the kids come home. Oh, yeah, until the cows come home. Oh, yeah, um, but I made some s'mores because we have a bag Ew. of that still. Yeah. Um, I made some pecan sticky buns, some chocolate I'll mint. That. I'll have that one. And gingerbread. Ooh, gingerbread sounds good. <laughs> you know what yeah. we should do? What? <sighs> we should make the rye bread recipe with the gingerbread. I'm not a fan of rye bread. No, 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 no. It doesn't taste like okay. rye bread. Pull it up, pull it up so I can see it. Please? What's it called? What's it called better than rye bread or something like that? Keto chow. Do, 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 do. Keto chow. I don't think it's called rye bread. I think it's called bread. That's not rye bread. No. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah. I think it's pumpernickel bread. We should make the pumpernickel bread with the gingerbread. That would taste amazing. Okay. <laughs> I agree. You agree? <laughs> nope. We could put some cream cheese on there. Oh, it'd be so yummy. Let's see. Um, I love Desert that Desert Dwarf recipe. loves malt and butterscotch. Mm -hmm. John says your video feed looks an awful like my my awful lot like mine. Line LTT and MK tips. BHD. Yeah. Um, I also have a lot of. A lot of drone videos yes. and camping stuff. Yeah, right we've now. been RV way into stuff. camping. Stuff. I can't wait to go camping. Ah! Supposing darkness is I really want to come there in May, but it's a lot of money for a single day trip. Oh, yeah, because we're going to be hosting Indigo Neely and Lindsay Murphy yes. in May. Penny says, I tried keto chow with gelatin. I was able to tolerate it better. Thanks for oh, the suggestion. Oh, thank you for letting us that's, know. I love awesome. to hear that. Jennifer says, 12. How many refrigerators do you have? Yeah. There's an outside, like, it, it's our old refrigerator. Yeah. It's in the, in the winter, garage. it's just the garage. Yeah, well, yeah, but 
um, the entire, usually the entire door yes. is full of keto chow if I have time to make any. Mm -hmm. So. So it's our second fridge. And then we have a big one inside because we have like the, I don't know, we just have a big fridge. GGB is having an oral procedure on Thursday. Oh. So one to three days of soft food diet, I'm keto chow, egg pudding is being made. Nice. Sounds good to me. Marie says I had some gingerbread in my coffee today. Nice. Nice. Um, Animal Creek Lodge is here. Hey. hey. So Gnome didn't have even the hint of Eclipse dimming, oh. even though some maps showed Alaska off the coast of Texas. Wow. Uh, right in the path. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Yeah. Alaska right off the coast of Texas. Yeah. In, I don't remember what year, but there is going to be an eclipse in Nome, Alaska. I'll go to that It's one. pretty soon. That is the next eclipse that's going yeah. to be it's in like the United States. It's like in a few States. years, though. It's like a yeah, couple years away. Yeah, four or five years away. Not I too don't bad. remember. Roz says, I agree, Miriam. Speaking of Indigo Neely. <gasps> Hi. Neely's here. We were just talking about the meetup in May. We were even saying nice things. Yeah, we always say nice things. <laughs> Lynn says, Hi, hey, everyone just got here. Supposing darkness says I combined salted caramel and chocolate core. It was yes. tasty. Yes. Um, Desert Dwarf says, using normal recipe, butter and water. How long can a premix keto chow drink be kept in the fridge? Great question. We usually tell people about six days in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So I love to... Might actually, be longer. Chris loves to make a bunch of keto chows on Sunday, and then we just try to make sure they get drank mm -hmm. before Saturday or Sunday. And if they don't, we just pour it into a Ninja Creamy container at the yep. end of the week and freeze it. And it's like, secret keto chow. Yep. Um... Yeah, I try to, if at all possible, make six days worth at a time. Mm -hmm. However many that's going to be. Because then, all you have to do is grab them and go. Mm -hmm. So, all right. I think we're going to go. Um, yeah, I need to go to sleep. Yeah, well, and we need I'm to... I'm tired. And I have a big fat lip. Let's see. It is right now... It's 1957. And we woke up at... 0257 Utah. I mean, 0200 Utah time today. No, yes. three is later than two, so we would. Yeah, it was. No, it was 2 a.m. Utah time when we woke up. The sun rises earlier in the east. Oh, so you're right. we've been awake for 18 hours. I am tired. We're gonna go. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you at our next live stream, mm -hmm. whenever that might be. Oh, 